Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. Today we will learn about droughts. What is a drought? A drought is a natural occurrence that takes place when there is a continuous period of drier than normal weather conditions that lead to a shortage of water. Lack of precipitation in the form of rain or snow can affect the moisture content in the atmosphere, in the soil, as well as the water levels in underground water sources, rivers, streams, and lakes. What causes a drought? One of the following occurrences usually causes droughts. Lack of precipitation. Lack of rain and or low levels of rainfall can lead to a drought. Droughts usually occur in areas that already receive very little rainfall. If that amount lowers even just a little, it can be devastating for that region. Atmospheric changes. In some regions of the world, there are distinct wet and dry seasons. These weather changes affect the levels of water in that area. During the dry season, when dry air is being moved across the region, watering holes may dry up and edible plants will dry out sooner. Animals in this region usually migrate to other locations until rains return. Erosion Natural processes like wind, water, and gravity can affect the movement of soil. If these factors move already dry soil around, it can affect the plant life in the affected region. This can worsen the effects of a drought. What are the main types of droughts? It is difficult to pinpoint exactly when a drought begins and ends because it takes place over an extended period. This occurrence can affect both plants and animals alike. Droughts can last weeks, months, or even years. Here are the main types of droughts. Meteorological. Meteorological droughts are weather-related and happens when there is a continuous time that an area receives less than average precipitation. Agricultural droughts are related to the production of food and affects crop output or the natural environment of a distinct area. This usually occurs when there is not enough water in the region to sustain the plant life. Therefore, less crops are produced. Hydrological. Hydrological droughts are related to the fresh water resources available on Earth. This type of drought happens when the levels of groundwater, lakes, and other bodies of fresh water drops below their normal amount. When water sources are depleted and are not replaced, it can lead to a hydrological drought. Consequences of droughts Droughts occur when the land in a region is too dry. This lack of moisture can have catastrophic effects on the people, animals, and plants in a given region. Here are some of the consequences associated with a drought. Environmental The lack of precipitation will cause water levels to drop. The living things in that area will have less access to water. Plants often die, and this creates scarcity of food for the animals and people who need them to survive. Additionally, animals that live in freshwater habitats will have to adapt to the drier environment. Economic During periods of drought, farming is greatly affected. The decrease in access to fresh water will lower the food production of crops and livestock, which creates a domino effect for food availability. Less food is produced, so less food is available for distribution, and what is available will be more expensive as a result. Social 
The lack of food and access to water can lead to malnutrition for people and animals in some communities. As wildlife move further away from their usual watering holes in search for water, they might venture closer to areas where humans live. This increases the risk of injury to humans by wild animals. What can be done to prevent a drought? People in drought-prone areas do a few things to protect themselves against a drought. Though since a drought is a natural occurrence, human actions cannot always prevent it from happening. Dams People build dams and will use them to provide water to the affected areas in the event of a drought. Rainwater Harvesting some individuals will collect rainwater and reserve it for use during a drought. Mindful land usage. Another way in which people living in drought prone regions safeguard themselves is by being mindful of their land usage in an effort to reduce erosion. Rotating crops and allowing the land to take breaks between crops is one way to mitigate against a drought. Droughts can have serious consequences. The decrease in water supply can greatly affect living things in the affected areas. Droughts can have long-term effects and can happen anywhere. Being aware of their causes and effects on the environment is one way to be prepared in the event of a drought happening in your area. I hope you learned something about droughts today. Thank you for taking this learning journey. Until next time. As always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next. Email EZA Homeschool Academy at yahoo.com. Like and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.